everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide, this time on Crawl Analysis. This is a feature within the SEO Spider rather than general crawl analysis. So usually the SEO Spider analyzes data and reports it in runtime where metrics, tabs and filters are populated during the crawl. However, things like link score, which is an internal page rank uh, calculation and a small number of filters require calculation at the end of the crawl. This is where crawl analysis comes in. And you can find crawl analysis up here in this top level menu. If you click on configure, you can see the items that require crawl analysis at the end of the crawl. So link score, some filters under pagination, hreflang, amps, sitemaps, um, and orphan URLs for analytics and search console. Um, you can also see which filters require crawl analysis over in this right hand window pane over here so i know that sitemaps for example if i click on sitemaps this right hand window pane will update immediately and bring you to that section you can see a, a number of filters here require crawl analysis um, this is because processing whether urls are in the crawl but not in the sitemap or vice versa is best processed post crawl rather than during the crawl itself so there's two ways that you can run crawl analysis. You can do it manually at the end of the crawl. You can simply go to crawl analysis. Um, you can configure it and choose what options just by ticking or unticking these um, options and then clicking start and it will run crawl analysis. I'll do that now. You can see in the top right hand corner, the analysis is running 100%, that's it run. And these filters have now updated. You can see crawl analysis required has disappeared and these filters have populated with data. So if I want to see URLs not in the sitemap or orphan URLs, um, so those that are in the sitemap but aren't found within the crawl, um, any non-indexable URLs in the sitemap, so some 404s or canonicalized pages or whatever it might be, you can see these are all updated. There is another way as well. If, um, if you're forgetful and are unlikely to remember to, to run crawl analysis at the end of the crawl manually, you can go into configuration and just click auto analyze at the end of the crawl. So when a crawl reaches 100%, it will automatically perform crawl analysis at the very end of a crawl. I hope that's helpful on crawl analysis. Thanks.